What's up? Been a while since I did this podcast, hasn't it? <laughs> Sorry for the delay. I figured I would bring out a guest who's both well-known and unknown at the same time. Figured that was the best way to start season two off. Today's guest originates from the bastard child of Cartoon Network. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Momoko from Powerpuff Girls Z. You do know the real Asuka's gonna sue you when she finds out you jacked the podcast, right? Shut the fuck up. We're not supposed to mention that. Anyway, welcome to the Asuka show. You're actually the first guest of season two. Did you know that? Really? That's cool to hear. Glad I could make it. Yeah, usually I try to get people who are currently trending to come to my shows, but for this premiere, I just felt generous and daring enough to pull you out of obscurity. Wait, what? I mean, you and your girls never made it to America, right? And Cartoon Network refuses to acknowledge your existence. Is this whole podcast just gonna be roasting my anime? Nah, I'ma spare you from that pain. This podcast is more about the guests, as well as a bit of controversial topics. And considering this is airing of the 4th of July, I feel like this is the perfect time to talk about 9-11, arguably the most infamous event in history that started the downfall of humanity as a whole. 9-11? Are you out of your fucking mind? World Trade Center, smash or pass? I'm starting to think this was a mistake. Okay, enough fucking around. Let's start this off normally. So how did you get chosen for the role of Hyper Blossom? Wait, what? I'm talking about the character. Oh, well. It all started in 2004. Toei Animation wanted an anime to celebrate their 50th anniversary, and they called up Cartoon Network of Japan regarding something to do with the OG Powerpuff Girls. I met Miyako and Kaoru during auditions there, and the director really loved our chemistry when he called us three back in for a few line reads. That's amazing. What was filming and recording like for you back then? I used to feel a little nervous at the beginning, but over time I just dealt with it like a pro. Even when that wardrobe malfunction occurred in one of the episodes? Please don't bring that up. Sorry, my bad, couldn't help it. What was your favorite part about working on the show? I gotta say, definitely enjoyed filming some of the scenes where I got to show my range of expressions on command. Interesting. Now, about America. Are you a little upset that the series you originated from never got the chance to be shown in the States? Is that foreshadowing? Depends on if Musagan can get Powerpuff Girls Z uncut started. Wait, what? Answer the question, Momoko. Um, of course I'm upset. Sure, we got dumped by Ocean Productions, The but same company that created this famous meme. It's over 9,000! Yeah, whatever. For some reason, Ocean and Cartoon Network prevented the dub from airing in the United States, for reasons that they haven't explained to me. I bet that's due to the questionable dub decisions when it came to the voices. Bitch, I dare you to say that to my face! Chill, I wasn't making fun of you. Better not be. Anyway, this episode of The Aska Show is sponsored by Masigan Hanoka TV. This channel might have slowed down dramatically on the content grind, but it's the home of unfiltered content on YouTube, as well as a bunch of AI voice covers and two original songs. Subscribe to this channel if you're new, it don't cost anything. And definitely check out Racist Asian Time Bomb as well, the joint collaboration between Musaigan and some dude with glasses and a dia fetish. Did you just do a fucking sponsor in the middle of the podcast? Speaking of that series and those two creators, let's talk about chapter 34. Because I heard that there are gonna be a bunch of permanent changes made to keep the story consistent. I thought this episode was supposed to be about my series. Anyway, for 34, I heard that Misaigen is planning a from the series permanently, as well as the series. Huh? He's also planning a Wait, you serious? And considering and by extension they won't be able to so as well by extension the as a result putting the series back in present day Jesus Christ and then after that Musaigan plans to for good measure. I guess that's why he introduced the small time machines in chapter 32. He was planning ahead of Chris. But what if Chris finds out that so he series permanently, as well as Trust me, Chris won't find out about this. Musagan is keeping all these details secret from him. But you just blurted them out in the podcast. I have a bleeping button for spoilers. I can press this to mute the podcast and bleep it live. Looks like you thought of everything. Indeed I did. Last question, any words to Craig McCracken regarding the upcoming second reboot of the Powerpuff Girls? There's another one? Yeah, a reboot which hopes to be better than the shit show from 2016. Hey Craig, it's me, Momoko from Powerpuff Girls Z. I'm sorry that we never got to reach the country that the original started in. I know I'll probably never live up to the original, but I hope you handle the upcoming reboot well. Please don't fuck this up for the new generation of fans. Thanks. Beautiful. 
I hope you enjoyed this 4th of July special of the Asuka show. Make sure to leave a comment for suggesting guests to appear on the show. And stay tuned for the rest of season 2. Perhaps I'll get stupid Shinji in as a guest here in one episode. Who knows? You'll find out when the next episode drops later on in the year, I think. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Oh shit! Oh no! Asuka, it's not what it looks like! Big shout out to the real Asuka, links in the description. Subscribe to her channel so she doesn't sue my ass.